am styling right now, aren't I? Uh, not really. Um, I got my grungies on because I had to do work on the bus while I was out here by myself. The clutch I thought needed to be adjusted, and it did. It was uh, way out of spec. Like uh, a tenth of an inch compared to a half of an inch. So it's completely changed the throw on the clutch and everything and how it feels. I'm going to do a little quick test here. I also was trying to find an air leak that I've had for a while, actually since I've left. I used to be able to leave my air tanks overnight and it not buzz whenever I started up. It's on the wet it's on the wet tank. It's not on the dry tanks. Both dry tanks are fine. They all hold great. If this buzzes for a little while when I warm up. I used to be able to hold it for a couple days. Well I found it. <laughs> Why I'm all dirty right now is because I did find it. I should have just left well enough alone. It's silly me. I was like, I'm just gonna see, and then it made it worse. And then I spent 30 minutes trying to make it better, and now it's back to kind of where it was. I think there's actually a little bit of a, a pinhole leak in one of my brake lines, uh, airlines. So I will be looking for a part to replace that, so I can not worry about losing my air brakes. Um, mainly, not losing my air brakes, more or less being stuck somewhere and not being able to move. So. I kind of know what piece I need and what length of copper line I need and it'll probably be like 30 or 40 dollars to fix so it won't be that bad hopefully. The big thing is finding it but right now I want to do a, a quick little drive around test see how well this thing uh, works the new clutch adjustment works with everything and this little flag here what does that flag do? Oh, sweet. There's a marking button on this one. That's cool. So I can hit the screen and flag a certain spot and it'll recognize it. Well, that's really nice. Uh, I haven't done a full review on this camera or anything. I just started editing it today and yesterday. And all the videos that are just like got blown up all of a sudden is me getting caught up. I got behind. Mainly life got me behind, but I, I'm this dumping it as all the videos I've been making since uh, Slab City this out there to get it out there and get it up. Um, God, my windows are nasty. Anyhow, I'm covered in filth too right now. But I'm still sitting outside of Joshua Tree. I'm going to try to move over to another BLM on the other side and then see how it rolls. If not, I'll come back to this spot. But I just wanted to do a little test drive. I'm not like going to call people and figure out where they're at. I actually now need an RV park. Not only do I need a place to dump, I need to take care of my tanks. And, well, not only do I need a place to dump my trash, I need to take care of my tanks and fill up with water. And everything's overpriced because of the area I'm in. I could go an hour and a half to the east or an hour to the east or whatever it is and go over to Ehrenberg and do it over there, which might be reasonable to do. Right now, I'm trying to figure out where everyone's going to be in th about three days. And once I do this little test drive around, we'll go from there kind of thing. Let me figure out that out. Oh my gosh, it's like half my clutch travel's gone. That little half inch that I took out, it's like oh, nothing there. Before, I was just like right on top of it. So this, I was thinking that it was this making it hard to do. I don't know what's going on with the clutch, but it's always had problems. Oh my god, that feels so weird. It's like alien, you know, when you, you hit the clutch, it's like on and it's off, it's on and it's off. Now it's like halfway down and then it's on. Halfway down and then it's on. It's like almost like, oh my god, what's wrong? Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll try it better. Ooh, huh. That's touchy. Oh, but that's so touchy now. It used to be I had to this barely like. Oh, man, Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Oh, that's so much better. Oh my gosh, that's like wonderful. That's like night and day different. Now I think. Oh. Oh, it's like popping the clutch out, too. Um, I'm gonna move down the road. I was gonna come go over and say hi to Tile another time, but oh my god, that's kind of an ankle. Oh, hey, we made it. But I really just wanna kind of drive this around and test it out. Wow, it actually, oh man, that was, oh my god, that shipped so well. I might have been driving this whole time out of adjustment. Oh wow, that's like 90 different. 
and I thought my clip was going out for like the last year and a half. Turns out all the things are a nice adjustment. Can't see anything right now. Not an adjustment as before, but I thought it was kind of way out of whack you know. It only had a tenth of a... That's weird. He must have a small neck with him. God, I'm so disgusting right now. There's no one there. I'm going to park there, maybe. No, oh, I'm going to park there, maybe. I'm not going to intrude. I'm, I'm going to park nearby so I can turn around, go visit, and say hi. Oh my god, that feels so freaking alien. Yeah, it's still hard to get in here, though. But it's right there. I mean, I'm no longer tired are hard to get in gear or whatever it is. Oh, off-roading. Oh man, it's like I'm right on top of it. Oh shit. Hi. He's gonna say, oh, hi. Okay, no, he said it's fine. They're just in the middle of eating right now, which is fine. So I'm gonna readjust, get us at least level left and right if we can, and then go from there. Oh man, that's so easy to get into gear right now. It's like, oh my god! I'm not gonna see what it's like, but it's not. You know how many times I fight that clutch for so long? I've been hurt by myself too long. Maybe I should move over a little. Good. That clutch feels wonderful. Should have done that ages ago. Hello, everyone. Out in YouTube land. It's so cool. I can actually look on the screen as I'm talking to you and I can move it around however I want. Anyhow, we are in Indio right now. We came in last night mainly because we needed to do one final grocery shop while we was near Walmart that I could go to. Because I didn't know how long it would be before I was near Walmart again and they have some stuff that I really like to get every now and again. So I just stocked up on it. They had dollar tuna, lemon pepper, those little bags. They had it for a dollar there, which I haven't seen it for a dollar in God, I don't know how long. So this, ever since I've been in, in kind of the less travel, is anywhere from $2 to Three something for those things. So seeing it for a dollar, I just went a little bit crazy on it. And those noodles that I like too. Anyhow, we came into town. I had to uh, do some adjustments on the bus yesterday. I would have brought you guys along, except for his nasty, greasy, dirty work. And I don't get get the new camera all dirty. But while I was messing underneath there, I adjusted the clutch. Which actually, I think I told you guys about that. The clutch adjustment so yeah I found an air leak and an air leak is not good but uh that's weird there's all kinds of weird stuff going in this parking lot the air leak is a minor it'll still pass like the brake check and everything else it's just minor it's just the only thing is minor things turn into major things and it was just a minor thing that you know leaked over a couple days on the wet tank <clears throat> now it leaks in like 20 minutes of sitting there, so but it'll still pass the brake check, so that's good. So I was like, well, I better get something to fix it. There's a semi hose dealer in town that have it. Um, so I went there. They did not have it. Actually, the funny thing is, is my serial number. They pull up parts based on serial numbers of the vehicle, and I'll tell them exactly what they need. <clears throat> My serial number is three digits too short for what they can pull up. They have to have at least 17 digits to pull it up. So apparently I'm 
three digits too short for a serial number for anything you pull up. Which, yeah, means my vehicle's old. <clears throat> not a big deal. I've found parts. They just have to look it up by part number and not by the actual vehicle. But they didn't have the stuff to do it, so I ended up going down to a hose manufacturer. They actually manufacture a hose. I love these places because they can make pretty much whatever you want them to make. And they cost a fortune, but you get a custom-made one. So I have a copper line underneath there. And let me get it here. The copper line is a crimp connection and it's actually leaking at the back side. It's leaking on this side of the crimp connection and it's just not going to work. So I went ahead and bought this lovely $70 hose here that I had them make for me with these little rounding and fittings here. And what I'm going to do is go under there and cut it and I'll probably, just depending on it, I got a little extra so I could put a loop in it so I could make it however long I wanted and not worry about it. It also gave me a little vibration protection down there. But um, this will go on to the copper line on either side and I'll cut out the bad section. Put this in there and that should take care of my air leak. It also should allow me, by the way, this was 60, 65, $67 for this hose. But it says dot uh, brake, air brake hose and it should be qualified for this at least. Anyhow, what was it? That was sixty-four dollars for that airline. And we're gonna put it in there, and it should handle the pressure, and it looks pretty, prettier than the other stuff, and it's fine. It says air hose on it, so it should be covered. And get that fixed, and that won't be a problem. And I was looking at pricing on doing brakes myself for this thing because I need to do it, but I've heard. I've heard insane prices like $2,400 for brakes for a bus that people have spent. And it's like, there's no way I could spend that kind of money on the brakes. So I was looking at doing it myself. And actually, it does look doable. The biggest thing is make sure I get the parts. And if I have a ride, like I can park somewhere and pull the wheel off and take it into town, you know, get the stuff. The, the more expensive thing is if I have to replace the hub, the metal hub that goes on the tire. Those are $300 each. The brakes themselves, if you have a core, so you got to bring your old ones in to swap in for the new ones, is $37 each. So what, that'd be close to, what, 37, 40, 40, 80, 80, 120, about 160 for new brakes all the way around if you bring your core in. That's not including the drum. The drums are about $300. Yeah, and for 150 to $300 for the metal drums, and there's four of those. So yeah, I guess you could easily get up there to a higher price of $1,000 for new brakes for this if you do all the manual labor yourself. Labor usually doubles the price of the parts. That's just usually where it's at. And so, and they used to do it by flat rate. I don't know what they do it by now as far as labor goes. But I've noticed that a lot of labor on vehicles is outrageous, actually. It's probably just because everything else costs outrageous is why that's going up. So you can't afford to keep it vehicle anyhow i haven't decided if i'm gonna do that or not i might just wait until i'm back home and then i'll tackle that while i'm in a sticks you know solid location visiting family kind of thing or if i can find somewhere that someone else can help the biggest thing is i don't have the strength to do it and it'll take a lot of strength to handle some of that equipment and the, the brakes and everything. The tires alone are 350 pounds each and I got two of them on the back. That's almost 600 pounds of this weight. I mean really what I've kind of decided if this guy doesn't run into this other guy with the cart in front of me. What I've kind of decided is the bus is just too much for me. I have the knowledge and I have the skill to do it. I just I'm kind of reaching my limit of where I want to be with it. And it's not meeting the needs. I can't drive to museum well I can but most of the time I just it's costing me too much to drive. If I had another person in here I could cut the gas price in half which would double my distance but I don't. And basically I'll be going to a smaller vehicle I think. And I'll probably end up gutting this one out to put it into a smaller vehicle. And like that everyone's showing up. I gotta recover Dave as he goes in and parks here. Yeah, I seen him this morning. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this view. Oh. 
trying to show me that. But, uh, that's not Panda. I thought that was Panda. It's like Panda got a new rig. Here it comes. <laughs> well, I hadn't even done breakfast yet. You should have maybe came in on the back side of a shell and looped around this way. Or you could do that like this little soft dip there. If she wants her door facing inward, she can come around this way and park on the road. Well, that's and here comes the rest of them. There should be at least two more after this group. You want to know how much the slope we're on, look at Dave's rig. It's almost perfectly level and you see that one wheel completely off the ground on his left side. So there's a pretty good slope here. That's a good spot. Probably need to go far a little bit farther, but mental note. What? You will not make a campsite anymore. <laughs> there was great campsites up there. Not whenever I came through. Uh, was they're, it all full? They're all full. All of them were full. They, they, it's emptied out. There's like about six or seven um, campsites down that way. Oh, well then they all cleared out. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm going to get Well, that's why I didn't, that's why, I'm going to get her. You know, that's why I didn't go back to look for it, because that road so horrible. Not to mention, horrible. when I, I took this road instead of this main road, uh -huh. and uh, when I came up, because you know how there's, uh, the, that, that road's yeah, washed so out. Yeah, so there's a washed out. So when out. I came up, I had to do a sharp turn, and I couldn't make it, so I had, oh, to, I had to back up while I was turned. Yeah. Yeah, and I had to slowly do it, and luckily I didn't hit my, uh, jackknife my trailer. I'm glad you didn't jackknife your trailer, because I did the same thing whenever I came in here, except for I didn't have a trailer. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's much more complicated. Thank you. Thank you, Marsha. Almost everyone's here. We got another two more rigs I heard. And then everyone will be here. This is kind of nice. I'm going to go make my breakfast now.